In this video, we'll go in-depth with transitions. Transitions are effects images use to add more detail to the game. Some examples are moving a character, moving a character into the scene, and pixelating the screen to change scenes. To understand this tutorial, you should know the basics of RenPy. If you don't, check out the tutorial above. Let's get started. The popular transitions are Dissolve and Fade. Dissolve is a gradual transition from one image to another. To use Dissolve, add with Dissolve after changing scenes. On the other hand, Fade is a two-step transition where the first image becomes less visible until it is not seen. Then, the second image becomes more visible. To use Fade, add with Fade after changing scenes. Note that Fade and Dissolve are mainly used for scenes. But there are some games that use Dissolve when changing character expressions. When a transition is placed after multiple scene, show, or hide statements, the transition will apply on all of them at once. So in this code where Dissolve is called after scene statement and show statement, the Dissolve transition will apply on scene and show at the same time. If you want to apply the transition only on show and not scene, the scene statement should have a width none. This means the scene doesn't have a transition. If you want to show both scene and character with the solve transition but not at the same time, each statement should have its own width statement. There's also movement transitions which are used in the intro. Let's break that down. For the first movement, let's move Zale from the center to the left side. I showed Zale in the center by coding show Zale delighted. There's no code here indicating that Zale should be in the center, but if the image position is not specified, the default position, which is center, will be used. I added a pause here so that Zale will stay in the center for two seconds. The goal is to move Zale on the left side. To do that, let's show Zale on the left side with a move transition. In the preview, you'll see how this works. For the second movement, let's show a character moving in from outside the screen. For that, let's show a character in our desired position with the transition move in right. We can also move the character out of the screen by hiding the character with a move out right transition. If you learned from this tutorial, please smash the like button. This will greatly help out my channel by recommending it to others. That also means more contents about RenPy and game development. Back to the tutorial. Then you might ask, what if I want to move the character from the left side? For that, you can use transitions such as move in left and move out left. There are also transitions for top and bottom. For top, there are move in top and move out top. For bottom, there are move in bottom and move out bottom. There's a transition called ease, which is also a movement transition. Ease transition did the same effect as move transition while using a different speed. It slows down at the start and at the end of the transition. Just like move, Ease has in and out transitions in different directions. The movement transitions mentioned are only applicable for showing an image and not for scenes. If you want to move a scene, there are transitions such as push right, push left, push up, and push down. Another transition we can use on images are zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in is used when an image enters the screen. Zoom out is used when an image exits the screen. Notice that zoom in should be partnered with show, and zoom out should be partnered with hide. There's a transition called zoom in out which does the same zoom effects. The difference is 
Zoom in out is easier to use because it can be used on both show and hide. So these two codes do the same effects. There are transitions we can use to shake the screen. V punch shakes the screen vertically, while H punch shakes the screen horizontally. We can also apply shake on a text to shake the screen. There are transitions I categorize into crop move transitions simply because they were defined using crop move transition class. This means these transitions are a combination of cropping and moving an image. The first type is wipe. There are wipe right, wipe left, wipe up, and wipe down. The second type is slide. This slides in a new scene. There are slide right, slide left, slide up, and slide down. The third type is slide away. This slides away the old scene. There are slide away right, slide away left, slide away up, and slide away down. The last type is iris, which is common in cartoons. The transitions are iris in and iris out. For the remaining transitions, there is blinds transition, there is also squares transition, for the last one, there's pixelate transition. That's it for our tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more learnings.